today's story is Brian the Smelly Bear. Brian is a very smelly bear, but he doesn't seem to care. I smell nice, he shouts. I am clean. His friends, however, are not so keen. <laughs> some cough and some wheeze and hold their noses tight. His best pals, the rabbit, leap far out of sight. But Brian doesn't seem to have a clue. He says, hmm, while the others say, Poo! He smells out of the bushes. He honks out the shed. His stench would keep spiders away from your bed. He stinks out the pond and palms out the wood. You'd be wise to run away if you could. The frogs groan. The hedgehog says, but Brian just rolls in the mud on the floor. I smell great. I don't sniff. You wouldn't say that if you caught a whiff. One morning, old Badger said, that's enough. What are we going to do with this big stinky scruff? We just can't go on. He's putting us to shame. His smell is so awful, but to him it seems tame. We agree. Here, here. The friends made a plant named Mission Scrub and armed themselves with a soap and a tub. Hey, Brian, they called. Come over here. Brian looked at them puzzled, scratching his ear. We find an old bath. It's full of mud and it stinks. The animals all whispered, well, that's what he thinks. Brian grinned as he ran, the ultimate dash. He leapt high as a kite, then down with a splash. This tub isn't full of stinky, smelly stuff. It's just soapy water, Brian said in a huff. So Brian, who smelt more than anyone you know? More than rotten old socks and fluff on your toe. Now smells just like flowers and he has changed his name to just Brian the Bear. Never smelly again. The end.